All right, today we're gonna tie a woolly bugger variation. This is using this awesome midnight fire chenille that I randomly picked up. Um, it just has the right amount of like red and blue flash in it that it just drives the fish crazy. I also got some of these screaming red beads, uh, slotted beads, uh, so I thought it matched really well. So I went ahead and used this uh, jig hook instead of your typical, you know, 3X, 4X streamer hook. Um, I, I use the chenille for woolly buggers on streamer hooks, jig hooks, everything. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that tail tied in. Here, I ripped the tips off of the tail to get a nice big bushy tail, and I tie it a little bit longer uh, than you'd normally tie a woolly bugger tail to get just a lot of big bushy movement out of this fly. So it's because this isn't a, it's only a 1XL jig hook, it makes a little bit bigger fly out of a, a hook that's maybe a little bit smaller. I'll go ahead and tie it down a little bit further on the bend. It kind of helps keep that tail from fouling around the hook. So let's go ahead and tie in this chenille. You can already see that's a lot different than your typical just black chenille. Um, yeah, so you strip it, strip out some of the, the fibers, get that core showing so you get a nice small tie-in point, and then you're gonna be ready to tie in your copper wire here I'm using a, a red colored wire to just again, just kind of go crazy with the, the red and blue chenille that we got there. So we're just gonna wrap that chenille forward, touching turns. Every couple turns, I like to give it a, a little tug just to make sure that it's nice and tight around the hook. And then just get it right up behind the bead so we can get ready to tie in our hackle. Now this is a hackle out of a bugger pack from Whiting Farms. I think they're just amazing at, for your woolly buggers. Each feather just is, you know, perfect for this application. I oversize my hackle a bit, again, just to get a little bit bigger silhouette out of this hook. Uh, I think it, I think it really helps with with its fishability, you can throw something that looks a little bit bigger, uh, a lot easier. So get it tied in, palmer that thing all the way back, however you like. Some people want a little bit tighter wrapping or a little bit fewer. Here's about what I like. Get it all the way to the back and then use that red wire that we tied in to palmer it back through with counter wraps and secure that 
that hackle and then just tie off that wire behind the bead. Now that we got our wire up by the bead, let's secure it tightly with good tight wraps so that we can helicopter this wire off. It's going to be a little bit diffi more difficult than some wire because it's brassy size, so it's a little bit thicker. So don't be like me here. Have good thread tension pulling down while you have kind of a hold of everything and good tension on the copper wire while you helicopter so that it comes off easily so you're not struggling with, with it like I am here. Unfortunately, I got the camera in the way and it's just throwing me off. Now that I finally got that wire out of there, kind of clean everything up, get a nice uh, thread head there behind the bead, whip finish, and then trim out the uh, end of that hackle and you're ready to go. Here, I would normally come in from a different angle with my scissors, but with everything I got behind the camera, it just doesn't work out, but it gets the job done. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe.